Today we're going to make a durian milk tea at home using powder. There's one obvious elephant in the room. It stinks. Durian fruit, regardless of whether it's fresh or in powdered form, is very, very smelly. It smells like... But the taste of it is actually quite pleasant, some would say. I was thinking of getting a fresh durian fruit today for you to see, but at close to 25 pounds, which is approximately 30, 35 dollars, I decided to show you some video footage instead. This is just the pulp, but it's this yellow area that's the actual fruit and the durian fruit, and that's what we'll be eating. I myself experienced the richness of this king of fruits on my last trip to Southeast Asia. Durian drinks, durian ice cream, you name it, they love it. Here in the West though, majority of people have neither heard of it nor ever tried it. So then what a better way to introduce durian to the world than through bubble tea, which is exactly what I did as a limited run in my shops, and I definitely recommend you giving it a try in yours. So whether you're a fan or not, just remember that in Southeast Asia, it is illegal and or you will get a fine for traveling with durian in a train, in a taxi, in a suitcase on your airplane, or trying to consume it in your hotel room. Other than that, let's get started. First, we want to get our tea brewing. We want a strong black tea base brew. Now, normally I recommend for a milk tea, an awesome black tea, but today I'm actually gonna use a tea that I usually just drink by itself. It's called a smoky Lapsong Sachong. And the reason why I like it for this drink is it's gonna give a nice smoky undertone with that strong black tea bold flavor. I think it will complement the durian flavor really well. If you don't have loose leaf, then two or more tea bags will work just fine. But if you do have loose leaf, then you're going to use one tablespoon. Ah, oh, that smells so nice definitely balances out the smell in this room. And now we're going to add 180 milliliters of really hot water. Leave it to brew covered for 10 minutes. This beverage today will be approximately 350 milliliters, so I am building it in a 500 milliliter shaker. I'm going to be using an industry standard brown bubble tea scoop, which is approximately a heaping tablespoon. And we're going to be using my 222 recipe today. So to begin, we're going to put two flat brown scoops of bubble tea creamer powder into our shaker. There is actually a fly in here, and I think it is flying around trying to find this durian powder because it smells so potent. It hasn't found it yet. Next, we're going to add two flat scoops of our durian powder. Now, this is durian bubble tea powder. It's quite rare, but there are definitely bubble tea suppliers around the world who do supply it. If it couldn't get any smellier, that fly is not giving up until I think it wants to find this powder. And last but not least is two flat teaspoons of fructose powder. If you're using fructose syrup, then it will be 14 milliliters. Once your tea is done brewing, carefully strain it into the shaker and stir until combined. Carefully add ice all the way to the top of the shaker. Put on the middle lid and the top lid and shake really well for one minute. We know the drink is ready when there's a really nice condensation on the outside of the shaker and majority of the ice has melted. While your drink is shaking, add your topping of choice to your glass. And today, I'm using my favorite, boba. I've got some cute little white tapioca pearls in honey. I think that will look super cute with the yellow of the durian having the white boba. And then simply strain the drink into your glass. And remember to hang on to that middle section while pouring so it doesn't accidentally come off. Whew. 
I will say it's very um, authentic smelling. So there's only one thing left to do. Cheers. Oh, wow. Okay, very, mm -mm. okay, yes. Ooh. Give me a moment. So the first flavor that I got was that very strong, powerful durian flavor. Very difficult to describe. You just have to try it yourself. And then after that, because I used the smoky Lapsong Sashon, I got that right away, kind of helped to balance it out. And now that lingering flavor is sort of the durian with that tea undertone. Very interesting combination. I would say, give it a try. Offering a durian milk tea at your shop even if it's just for a limited time only, is a super fun, exciting, and very smelly thing to do. I definitely recommend it. The king of all fruits in bubble tea form. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if you had as much fun as I did, please be sure to click that like button. I'll see you again soon. Take care. <laughs>